Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. In today's workout, we're doing all lower bodies, okay? Everything is legs. So I want you to stick with me. This is also gonna be a workout in rep range. So it's a bit different than when I put a timer on. So if you're ahead in a rep or behind in a rep, that's okay. Just change when I change so that we can stay on the same page. So here's your format. Basically, we're gonna do 12 reps of everything, except on the fourth round, we're gonna do a burnout round, okay? So we really wanna focus on glutes, quads, hamstrings, and really burn out the muscles on the end of each set. Then, at the very end, you've gotta stay tuned for this, because it's gonna be brutal. Like, I haven't done it yet, this is just my intro, but I'm sure it's gonna be brutal. We are doing 100 reps of four different burnout exercises. In that set, you're gonna require a mini band. If you don't have one, you can do them without the band, but it's gonna put a lot of extra tension on if you have a mini band. All right, if you don't have mini bands, make sure you check the show notes below because I, I have a bunch listed that I really love and I use, so make sure that you order some today. All right, I'm starting you with a warm-up. If you're all ready to go, jump to the number at the bottom of the screen and you can get started now. Otherwise, join me for a leg-specific warm-up and we're gonna move daily right now. side lunges here, just warming up everything that we're going to use this morning. Actually looking forward to this leg workout. I, uh, I posted an upper body workout the other day and actually I just, when this is live right now, I, I've done it yesterday so I'm ready to hit lower body. Definitely ready. Let's switch and go into a, like kind of a low front lunge there, stretching in the hip flexor, okay? And here. Good. Nice and slow and controlled. Foam rolling your legs out ahead of this workout would be ideal as well. If you want to grab your foam roller, pause the video and do that. Um, I did that a little bit before and a lot last night since I'm having some hip issues on the one side. It actually feels really good and it helps. All right, let's get right to the center here. Get nice and low, put your hands on your feet. So you're gonna stand and drop it back down. Okay, you may not be able to keep your hands down on your feet, that's okay. Bring them up your shin there, okay. This is a good exercise to work on if you lack flexibility. Like if you can't keep your hands on your legs, on your feet rather, work on this, okay. <laughs> Five more here. Should feel a nice little burn in the quads though, that's for sure. I don't know why this burns the quads, but it does. It's like lactic acid just cools that in that area there. Okay, one more right here. Good. Oh, round up through the back. Let's just do some front lunges and then rotate and stretch up there. Okay, so lunge forward. My back knee goes on the ground and I'm rotating up towards the ceiling here. Mm. Getting a little lower lumbar torso stretch in. <clears throat> That's it. That hip flexor as well, right? Mm -mm. All right, let's go three more here. And the last one here. All right, come to standing, feet shoulder width apart. Let's go ahead and give you some squats right here. That's it. <clears throat> I'm actually filming this at Saturday morning. Well, it's 11.30, so I guess not really morning anymore. I'm a little late at the game here, nice and wide. But I've already received a lot of messages from you guys that you started your morning off with exercise, so that's great to hear. That's when I like to do it too, first thing, but it doesn't always work that way. All right, two more wide here. Nice and low, stretch into the groin here. All right, good. Let's just go back into this front lunge here, side to side. Let's just go back into this side lunge. We're just gonna do one more round here. Just to make sure we're all warmed up. I just get down really low on this. Heel up. I really wanna stretch into that groin. Because when I start the plie squats and I weight them really heavy, I don't wanna pull anything, right? All right, turn it into a front lunge, low. And here. Good. 
I'm looking forward to the burnout part. I actually am. I've not done it like that before. I know I'll probably eat my words. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Let's come to the center here. Hands on your feet and stand. But if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you, right? So we've got to challenge ourselves and see, you know, what we're capable of. Switch things up from time to time. I like that. And it doesn't get boring. Same old, same old. Nah, no thanks. I'd rather have something different. All right, let's go three more here. Two, one more. I don't know why my greeting's getting labored already. <laughs> it's not even that hard yet. Okay, front lunge, rotate, stretch your hip flexor. Let's go for six here. That's two, three, four, five. Good job. One more here. <clears throat> Back to squats, shake it out. Quad burn there, keep shoulder width apart. Let's go 10 and then 10 plie, and then we're getting started. Um, again, rep range means that we're gonna try to aim for about 12 reps in hypertrophy, okay? Take it wide. So I know that's not as easy to follow along as a timer is, but as I said in the intro, just switch when I switch. If you get more reps, great. Less reps, great. It'll let you know sort of where I'm at. And you can alter that by lifting heavier or lighter as well. All right, grab all your weights, your mini band, your chair, and we're getting started. All right, we're starting with deadlifts. First round, feet are facing front. Then we're gonna go feet facing in, feet facing out. But front to start, ready, hinge at the waist. Slow, slow, and up. I've got my 20s here. Okay, we're gonna go for 12 reps. Slow, slow, and up. Here's your side view. Reach, hips, back. Good. Halfway there. Last two. And last one here, and up. All right, great. We're moving into a banded hip thrust. So I'm gonna grab my band. I'm gonna keep my 20 close. Slip the band above the knees. Okay, you're gonna put your dumbbell on your pelvis. We're moving into hip thrust. Separate your legs as far as you can, but feet together. Here we go. Up, two, for 12 here. Four more, really make sure you squeeze your glutes at the top. Three, two, and one. You wanna make sure that you lift as heavy as possible, okay? Round two, definitely using the 25s. All right, moving to step ups. Grab your chair, <coughs> bench, whatever you got. Now on step ups, I'm gonna grab my 15s. You're gonna do a slight squat before you extend that leg, so. You're gonna go low, right like this, shoulders back nice and tall, and then press up. Low, here we go, 12 each side. Low. Really bend that back knee, so it's almost like a lunge. Six more. Last two here. Whoa. That definitely got my heart rate up. Woo! Especially with the 15s in hand. Okay, again, slight squat, low and up. Or lunge, I should say. Two, 12 here. Four more. Ooh. 
Last one here. Wow. Hopefully that was as hard for you as it was for me. Yeah, that was hard. Okay, de-robe. Round two, same thing. But on your deadlift this time, you're gonna go toes facing in, okay? I'm gonna go heavier. My 25s this time. Okay. So just a slight variation here. Hitting the outside of the hamstrings. Ready for 12? Let's go. Slow, slow, up. Super flat back here. Two. Three. Halfway. Stick your chest out and 12. Okay, good. I'm gonna keep my 125. Slip that band back on. Whew. Our rate is up already. Okay, 12 of your hip thrust. So lie down, feet together, legs apart. Hold that dumbbell. Let's go up. Two. Last two. Up and 12. Good. All right. Ooh. Move to the step ups. This was definitely the hardest one for me. I don't think I'm going heavier because this was hard. With that little lunge, makes it work, doesn't it? <clears throat> okay, ready? Here we go. Low. 12. Don't lean forward. Straight up. Halfway. Two more. Oh, wow. A little break for a sec. If you're lifting heavy, that should get that heart rate up. Okay, 12 the other side. Ready? Low. One. <clears throat> Shoulders back, last two. Reach your hips back. That's it, nice. Okay, keep one of those. If you're 
Lifting 25 for your hip thrust here. Slip the band. 12 is probably not enough here, but we're gonna burn this one out. It's hard at home if you don't have super heavy weights or a barbell, but this is good anyway. The other stuff's hard, so here we go for 12. Up. Keep those knees apart. Four more. Up. Squeeze. Two. One. Very good. It's a good starter, anyway. All right. Now we're going into your burnout round. This is fun. Round four. So we're gonna do 25, where's my 15s? 25 deadlifts, feet are straight, but partial. I want you to come just to below the knees, okay? Not a full range there, and they're rapid for 25. Shoulders back, knees soft, here we go. One, up, squeeze the glute to the top. Three, but don't arch your back at the top. Six. Here's 10. Five more here, that's 20 in five, four, three, reach your hips back, two, one more here. Nice. Okay, fun. Good. Step ups. This is gonna be a butt blaster for 25 per leg, okay? So, instead of a full step up, you're gonna start low. You're not even coming up out of that low squat position. Just tap your foot to the top of your bench or chair. 25 a leg, here we go. One, two, like that. Fifteen. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> that burns, eh? Shake it. Switch sides. Ready? Low and tap. Five. 10, 15, 20, five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> what a quad burn. Okay, excellent. Now, for the glute thrust, you can either do this on the ball, on a bench, Okay, what we're gonna do is a frog pulse at the end. So feet are gonna be together. I'm on my ball, hands or elbows on the ground. I'm coming down, flexing up for 25 like this. Okay, you don't have a ball or a bench, you're on the ground, it's here, okay? So you don't get the depth of, or range of motion, still effective. Ready for 25? Here we go. One, up. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Wowza, okay, nothing wrong with that round. Grab some water, join me back for round two. Starting round two with a plie squat. Now, if you don't have a really heavy dumbbell, feel free to hold two dumbbells together, okay? All right, 12 reps here, shoulders back, knees track out over the toes, get as low as you can. I'm gonna aim to have my dumbbell touch the ground. Ready, here's 12. Go, push through the heels, two, don't lean forward. Four. Good. 
Last two here, squeezing glutes at the top, and 12. All right, moving into a pendulum swing. I'm gonna take my 15, I'm gonna do 12 per leg. So, you're gonna do an alternating hand grip. If my right leg is stationary, I hold the weight in my left hand, okay? I'm gonna reverse lunge, then I switch to a front lunge and switch my weight. All right, so 12 reps there. Ready, here we go. So it's one, switch, two, three, four, five, six, push up through your heel, seven, eight, nine, two more, 11, and 12. All right, whoo. Now my left leg is stationary. Ready? Let's work. One, switch, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! So that way down, good. You're gonna go into a split squat. I'm gonna grab my chair back here. This can be done on the floor without the back leg elevated, but if you can, let's get our back leg up there. But it's flat. Here we go, weighted split squat for 12. Push through the heel, stay tall. Last two here. And 12. Woo! Okay, shake that out. Switch legs. Flat foot if you can. And drop. Low. Low back knee. Two. Two more. And 12. Good, okay. Woo. Take a second. We'll be back into the plie. So, I'm looking 25 for the plie, 15 and 15 for the second two exercises. Round two, same idea. Take it super wide. Shoulders back. And go, 12. Halfway. Last two, 11, 12, and up. Great. Okay, split squat. The reason why we try to flatten that foot is we want to put as much tension on that front leg and that glute as possible, okay? So if it's not comfortable, we'll go on your tiptoe. I get how it sometimes isn't, so it's fine. Ready, tall, 12, low. I'm thinking of this glute here, okay? Three more. It's hard. Last one here. Oh, that's not my favorite exercise. My one client, Denise, she loves that. Loves it! Not me. It's so hard. Okay. Legs up. Ready. Drop low. One. Four. Halfway. Two more. I missed the pendulum, didn't I? Yes. Why didn't you say something? That's okay. 
out of order, out of mind. <laughs> We're gonna do it though. Don't you think that I can't make you do it? We're going through it right now. I must have been trying to forget it. Okay, right leg is stationary. I'm holding it in my right hand, lunging with my left foot forward. Ready? 12 a leg, here we go. One, switch, two. Eight, four more. Last one. Is your heart rate up? I know, me too. Switching to the left leg. Ready? Hold it in your right hand. Left leg is stationary. Reverse back. Switch front. Three. Four. Two more. Last one here. Oh, Nelly. Rest for a sec. If you're lifting heavy enough, you should be taxed a bit. So when we get into that hypertrophy or muscular strength, you want to be able to take rest in between to let the oxygen replenish, lactic acid dissipate, or hydrogen dissipate. And uh, that way, you can lift as heavy or heavier on the next round. Let's just keep that second order that I just did. We'll start with the plie, go to the split, finish with the pendulum. Okay. Hey, demon, pause if you need to recover more, okay? Okay, wide, shoulders back, tummy tight, low, and 12. Halfway. Last two. And up. Okay. That's honestly the easiest one for me in this circuit. But I only have 25s. Suppose I could have held two like I told you to do. <laughs> do as I say, right? Okay. Last 12 here. I'm just gonna hold my dumbbell up here. It doesn't really matter where you hold it. Okay, ready? 12 each arm, leg, here we go. Low. Woo. Halfway. Last two. taking my uh, omega 3s last night and so I took them this morning don't do that drink water take your fish oil that's all I'm tasting right now <laughs> it's really bad I'm glad that you can't like smell <laughs> smell through the video it's bad okay hey it's good for you so we'll do it I take them in the night and then go to sleep okay last pendulum ready Work for 12, here we go. Six. One more. Yes. Switch 
to my legs. Go if you're not completely out of breath. Just gonna wait a sec. Okay, ready? Here we go, take it back. Low, last 12 of these. Two. Halfway. Eight. Two more. And, oh, can you even believe how hard that was? Uh, okay, now we got the burnout round. All right? 25. You're gonna start with the plie, it's just gonna be pulses, okay? Uh, I'm gonna stick with my 25 pounds there because it's really only 12 pounds a leg. <clears throat> Not much. You can hold two dumbbells up on your shoulders though. If you wanna make it heavier. Okay, ready? Take it wide, shoulders back, start. Here we go. One, two, three, five. 10, 15, 25, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mama. Okay, okay. Okay, so um, the pendulum burnout <laughs> is going to be a front lunge pop. See how fun that is? That's not fun, that hurts. But <laughs> we're gonna do it. Seems like I can breathe. 25 a leg. Center yourself. Ready. And little hop. Two, that's it, later. Three, see how low my back leg is going? Six, seven, eight. Use your hands. 10, one, two, three, four, 15, 20, 5, 4, 3, 2, <sighs> I'm also crying, so don't even, okay? <sighs> okay, other side. Gonna get my heart rate down. Ready? And here we go. One, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, four, five. Oh, holy Shania Twain. That's hard. It isn't easy being green. Okay. I need water. Last one is gonna be, actually grab your chair or bench back. Also, this could be done from the floor. You're gonna do just a low pulse in that split squat. Feel free to hold the weight if you want. I'm not going to, because I'm dying, and we still have the hundreds burnout at the end, so. Okay, so back leg is back. Low, pulsing down low for 25 a side. Ready, go. One, two, five, ten. 15, 20, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Who's gonna be able to walk tomorrow? Raise your hand. Right? I keep laughing like it's funny, but this workout is no joke. Okay, ready? You're part of our membership group right now. I love you. <laughs> Don't hate me. Okay, ready? 25 here, get low. And go. One. Five. 
I hope that I plan an upper body workout for you guys tomorrow. <laughs> 10. 15. 20. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, mommy. Okay, take a little break. Are we done? Yeah, take a little break. You got your hundreds burnout coming up, okay? One, two, three, four exercises, 100 reps each. Grab your mini band and join me back. Don't you leave. All right, remember when I was all like, grab your heavy band. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move away from the heaviest band. I've got a medium band, I'm gonna start with that. So if you need to do this without a band, if that's all you have is a heavy one and it's too hard, feel free to do it without, it's okay. We're doing 100 fire hydrants, starting like this, you've got 50 per side. Ready? Get on all fours here, nice flat back, and let's bring it out to the side. Here we go for 50. All right, I'll count in tens, so you know where we're at here. But I can't talk and count at the same time, so just enjoy the music, let it burn. There's 10.
70. than the working leg here for me. 40, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Switch sides. Ready? Get right into it. Here we go. Up. Two. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Come on. Push hard. I know it burns, but you know what? This is so great for those pumper muscles. Ooh, are they gonna develop? Give you that 40. Nice sculpted look on your booty. That's my name of the game. I'm almost 50. I don't need that body sagging any more than it is. 50. Oh, holy Hannah. Okay, one more. Um, what can I do? Well, it's 100. This might seem nuts. I'm gonna go with my heaviest band for some seated abductors. I'll try it. Um, <coughs> sorry. It's not the slip, no, not, it's not the no slip, no roll, which would be harder, but it's my heaviest rubber band. Okay, slight forward leaning, you're in and out like that. 100 last reps, ready? Let's start, one. I'm up on my tiptoes, feet are together, touching, 10. Thirty. Yep. Now the burn has started. I gotta take a break at fifty. I'm sure. Forty. I'm gonna keep going. Fifty. Sixty. Deep breath in through the nose. Slow exhale. Almost there. 70. <laughs> this is nuts. Do we really want a booty that bad? I don't know. This is crazy. I'm 80. Yes, we do. 90. I can't believe I did it without stopping. This is crazy. 5, 4, 3, 2, one and done, oh my goodness. And you have moved daily. <laughs> Woo! If you like this workout, if you like this leg workout, this rep range, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to be subscribed. Join me for a stretch if you can. If not, I'll see ya in the next video. <sighs>
Let's lay on our backs. I love this stretch for glutes. Cross the legs over. Lie all the way down and bring your heels towards you. Oh. All right, those step ups at the beginning, that was the hardest one for me. What was the hardest for you? That was like, oh, heart rate killer, wasn't it? And then the, what else was hard? Uh, oh yeah, the split squats, I don't love. Switch sides. Oh, Nelly. That's good though. I hope I feel this in my glutes tomorrow. It is hard, a couple of you have mentioned that. It's hard to um, get a real good glute burn or glute feeling of them being well worked in a home gym because they don't have the barbell. Switch sides, or I mean, let's go on a hamstring stretch here. And I agree, like I haven't been sore in the glutes for a long time. Right now, how I feel, I feel like they're gonna feel it tomorrow. I hope, the next day. You're not aiming to be debilitatingly sore, that's useless because then you can't work out the next day, right? So switch sides. You want to get those little tiny microscopic tears but not, not hurt yourself. That's, it takes you out of the game and there's no use to that, in my opinion. So, so it's, it's really kind of figuring out where you're at with the weights and usually if you can, if you're fit and you've done weights for a long time, Okay, let's put your feet together, let the legs fall out to the side here. You can lift in, you know, that 10 to 12 rep range or, and, and feel okay. If you jack that up and begin to lift heavier in a lower rep range, your body will take time to adapt and you'll feel sore, I'm sure. But, but if, if you're lifting in hypertrophy, that 10 to 12 reps, kind of going to failure at reps 10, 11, and 12, or getting close but with good form, then you should feel nicely sore but not debilitated. I'm just gonna do this because my lower back's a bit sore and this feels like I should do this right now. So <laughs> join if you want or do one leg at a time. I'm gonna flex my heels too so stretch into the calves a little bit. Oh gosh. I was a gymnast when I was younger so I haven't lost all the flexibility yet which is nice. If you use it, you don't lose it as fast, right? All right, slowly come to seated, nice and slow. That's it. I'm gonna just come on my side, do a little quad stretch. I feel like from those lunges, we're gonna have a little quad burn for sure. Oh, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna feel it. <laughs> Everything's kind of shaky. That little burnout was fun though, wasn't it? You guys are like, no, that was the worst part. <laughs> oh, yes, it was fun, it was fun. Now, that helps just to take it to the next level, as it were. So I like that from time to time. Just something different, right? Oh, that feels good. Well, I'm glad you joined me. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, if I were to do another workout tomorrow, I definitely would pick something upper body, obviously. Um... Usually a lot of my cardio videos are a lot of lower body legs. So yeah, I would, I would pick an upper body or an ab, exclusive ab workout. Let's come to a butterfly stretch here. So at the very end here, I'll just throw, um, I'll throw some cards up on the screen of what I would do tomorrow if I were you, so that you can let the legs actually get a good rest in, because that'll be important for repair and recovery. Make sure you have something healthy to eat after this workout too. Something with complex carbohydrates, lean protein, healthy fat, to replenish all those lost stores that you just burned off doing this crazy workout. All right, so here's the upper body workout I would recommend, and here's the ab workout I would recommend if you'd like to do that. All right, as always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. I'll see ya in the next video.